Hey guys, okay, so today I'm going to be doing another magical unboxing. Uh, today's unboxing is going to be uh, courtesy of Lou Crate. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, like none of the stuff I do is sponsored by anyone, so it's just, I buy them with my own money. Anyway, um, I'm actually really excited about this one because I have bought a couple of items from LitJoy's web website in the past. Um, like uh, this locket, for instance, I got from the joint. I've worn it every day since the day I got it, which is why all the, the paint or whatever they used has come off. Um, I actually have another item from them, which was the um, Black Family Tree Tapestry. It's really, really gorgeous. Um, I don't know if they still have it on the website or not, um, but maybe one day I will show you that um, properly, but either I need to hang out first. <laughs> Because I'm in, I'm planning on redecorating my lounge, which is where the tapestry is going to be placed. Uh, so once I've done that and I've hung it all up and it looks really pretty, then I will probably do a video and show you guys. Um, but for now, we are just going to open the Lit Joy box. And I'm really, really excited for this one because um, I've been, I've been wanting to get one for a while, but I just haven't got around to it. Um, so here is the box. With the gorgeous, gorgeous artwork of the three brothers, and then we've got some more artwork around the sides. Got the Philosopher's Stone right there, or Sorcerer's Stone, whatever you want to call it. Mirror of Erised, Parry. Okay. Right, let's get this open, shall we? Okay. Okay, so the first box we've got. It's got this gorgeous, gorgeous artwork on it. All over it. Yeah. I believe this is uh, Marauders themed from the look of it. We even got the Marauders in there and they just form right at the top there. Okay, so let's get this open. See what's inside. So we've got this really nice little, little mug here with the same artwork all the way around it, which is really, really nice. And I think it may be ceramic, I'm not entirely sure. And obviously it's got the little logo on the bottom. Uh, but yeah, I can always, I love getting mugs. My boyfriend is going to be mad at me for having more mugs because he thinks I have too many. But I drink a lot of coffee, so what, what am I supposed to do? Um, so, yeah, that's that first one right there. Really, really nice. I will definitely get plenty of use out of that. Okay, and the next item. Let's go with this box. Okay. I think this might be a book out from this description. Oh, yep, bookends. I can never do without some bookends. I actually prefer these sort of flat ones to ones that are actually like modelled like, um, I can't remember what it's called. Like the pukey pastels and um, a model bookend that's like a, an actual figure that acts as a bookend and um yeah i don't like that because it it takes up too much space on the bookshelf it's very nice but it takes up too much space i need more space for my books so flat bookends are much much better for me personally okay so here they are these seem to be made of metal, like they're, they're a little, they've got a little bit of weight to it. So I'm assuming they're made of metal, and they sound like they're made of metal. And I believe it would be the, um, there again, the, program. the story of the three brothers, which is really, really cool. I actually really, really like these, and they have like uh, that sort of um, shadow story play type thing that. I remember seeing them when I was little, and they would have like these little puppets, and they would just cast shadows and tell the stories through shadows, which I 
I've always really liked that sort of medium. Uh, so I really, really appreciate these. These are really, really nice, and I would definitely put these on my bookshelf. Okay, now what have we got next? Okay, I think this is probably a notebook. Yeah, this is a notebook. It's a really, really gorgeous notebook. I love um, silver. Silver and white gold are my, my favourite. Or anything that looks silver is my favourite sort of metal. And green is my favourite colour. And I really like snakes. So this is perfect. <laughs> I'm also a Slytherin, so even better. And it has a nice little uh, silver ribbon bookmark right there as well. And inside, on the top of each page, it seems that they have the same sentence written, which is, the Chamber of Secrets has been opened uh, and used to the air beware, I believe that's said. Like, I'm, try I'm trying to read it backwards, basically. Um, but it's on every single page. I always appreciate notebooks that are lined because it makes everything a lot easier for me. I don't like ones that are plain because I just I've I have a tendency to write diagonally if I don't have lines there. <laughs> so yeah, great, great item. Really love that. I probably won't write in it just because it's too pretty. So I'll probably just have it on my shelf just to look pretty. And oh, we got a new box with a bow. Okay, let's get this one open. <laughs> the philosopher's stone, and it's well, it's supposed to be the philosopher's stone. Oh, it is quite big. So there it is, right there. So yeah, it's got a little piece of the philosopher's stone. And what I really like about this is that. I actually didn't think there was going to be any sort of lining in it. This is like some sort of satin fabric um, lining in black. Because of how with the box looking quite um, plain and um, cardboard, I thought it would just be just something inside it, that there wouldn't be any lining in it or anything. But I think that is really, really adorable. And I appreciate the, the act of deception there. I appreciate that. So I always... It's like an extra surprise, like you're anticipating something and then it turns out to be something slightly different from what you were anticipating, which I always appreciate. So there it is right in the, the box. I actually quite like it out of the box, just because you can sort of see all the, when the light hits it, you can see how bright the colour is. Whereas in the box, because the lining's black, you can't really see it as well. But I love, love this. So I might see if I can start trying to find a some sort of makeshift stand to put this on so you can really, really see those those colours, that colour. Because it is a gorgeous shade of red. And who doesn't want a, floss, a piece of a philosopher's stone? It's awesome. Making let's open this one up again. Gorgeous artwork, really loving all of this artwork. Oh, and look, they've even got that on the inside, which is amazing. I love that so much. Okay, and what is in here? I think there might also be some of my add ons here. Well, I did get a couple, I only got a couple small things. Oh, it's a puzzle. I'm assuming that it's supposed to be that picture right there. It looks like it is, but yeah, I've got a little. Oh, my hands are shaking. I shake all the time. I'm sorry. So yeah, we got little puzzle pieces, which is really really cool. And I love that it comes in this little little. I don't know if what kind of material it is, but this sort of like nothing sort of canvas bag, which is always handy because I'm a parent. And the amount of times that I've lost pieces because my kids try to um, make a puzzle and then half the pieces go missing because they're, you know, they're children. Um, so having something like this is really, really handy. It's mine. They can't take it. They will. They will take it. But I can at least pretend that it's, it's mine. And it comes in this, I love that it comes in like the, the 
advanced potion making style box. You can just, just put it on the bookshelf and pretend that it's actually an actual book. But no, no surprise. It's a puzzle. Okay. And yeah. So those are my add-ons. I'll show you those at the end. Okay, and we have a few. Oh, yay! Art prints. Always appreciate an art print. Okay, so we have there are the three bodies back there. I don't know if I'm, that's the, the correct term for the story or not, but it, it's the one I've got. So deal with it. And uh, Nicholas Flamel with the philosopher's stone right there. and Gilbert Grindelwald and these actually are really interesting they have a little information sheet right at the back of them um, let me just see if I can read this out so born in Gil Gilat um, I pronounced it wrong didn't I wrong one Gilat Grindelwald born 1882 or 1883 educated in the northern most region of Norway Sweden Norway slash Sweden, an extremely talented wizard who possessed an attractive and winsome personality coupled with a merry, wild disposition, best known for the most terrible dark wizard to exist before he who must not be named came into prominence. Strengths, brilliant, ambitious, highly intelligent, almost as magically skilled as the greatest headmaster of the British magical school. Weakness, vain, arrogant, narcissistic, cruel, and believed himself to be superior to all other wizards. Never a winning combination. And Nicholas Flamel, born 1326. Nicholas Flamel was a historical figure who attended the French Academy of Magic and lived to be over 600 years old, one of the oldest wizards in history, best known for a famed alchemist. Nicholas was the only known maker of the Sorcerer's Stone and the Elixir of Life. He was also known for saving the city of Paris against uh, Gilbert Grindelwald's destructive black fire. Uh, extensive knowledge, especially in alchemy, and immense magical power. S uh, weakness, self-doubt in his magical abilities. Aww. And there's nothing on the back of this one. It's just the art print, which is gorgeous. And I'm really, really happy that I have that now. Yeah! Okay, so that is it from the actual box. Let's just get the cheat sheet make sure we got all the neat items. I won't read out the entire thing, but I'll read out a little bit. Okay. Uh, so. Uh, also, the mug, there's two types. You can either get the Shrieking Shack or the Wandering Willow mug. Uh, oh, no, it's both. I'm being stupid. Ignore me. Um, I'm so terrible, I'm just automatically started reading it. And yeah, but yeah, so we've got the uh, Shrinky Shack slash Whomping Willow mug. So that, oh, it's back in the box, I'm not getting it out of the box again. Um, yeah, so we've got that that mug. So yeah, one side of the mug is, um, yeah, what am I talking about? I'm talking to British, ignore me. Uh, but yes, yeah, so we've got that mug. Uh, we've got the Changer of Secrets notebook. Thank you. Um, um, the uh, Room of Re Oh, it's a Room of Requirement puzzle. Okay, that's awesome. I wasn't entirely sure what uh, the room was because it could be a number of rooms. Um, and we've got the Legends and Raw art print that one there uh, we've got the philosopher's stone yay um, we've got our adventure cards oh that's <laughs> I'm having a special moment today adventure cards And I 
happened to you today, apparently. And also, uh, yeah, I missed, this one. I missed the first page of this. We've also got the tale of... I was right, it was the tale of the three brothers. I'm not an idiot. Tale of the three brothers, uh, bookends. I don't even care if they're not supposed to be bookends, but they look like bookends to me, so that's what I'm calling them. Okay. So we've got all of those. And now I will show you what add-ons I got. I only got very small ones. Um, I didn't get any of the keys or anything like that. Um, so I got this little fridge magic magic magnet. Speak properly. Fridge magnet. What? What am I even trying to say? I got this fridge magnet because I just I don't have. Um, there are a lot of magnets on my fridge, but none of them are mine. I have one that is a Harry Potter one, and that is literally the only magnet on my fridge that is mine. The rest are my fiance's sister's. Um, so I decided to get one of my own. So obviously these are the three um, unforgivable curses. So we have, uh, uh, I believe that was the crucial one. Um, Imperio, that was it. I couldn't remember what the bloody word was. Imperio, and obviously Adabra I actually really, really like this because I, I have a tendency to be a bit of a goth, so this really fits with my aesthetic. Because, as I said, I like dark colours. I think I said that. I like dark colours, um, and skulls, and I don't really like traditionally girly things. So this is this fits my aesthetic very very well. I uh, I especially like skulls and anything sort of horror esque and a bit gross. So or dark. So this fits me very very well and I'm very very happy I have it. I had to get a a um, paper replica. So I got the is that the right way up. It is the right way up. Good. <laughs> I'm having one of those days apparently. So just to check. And it is the, oh, that's actually raised. Um, it is the list of all of the participants in Dumbledore's army. So there we have, there's a bit of a, a better view of it. And this part is actually raised. It's, I don't know if it's like stuck on or if it's like a proper wax seal or whatever. But yeah, so we have all of the members of Dumbledore's army right there which is very very cool the only thing about this i don't like is that the the paper is very thick and shiny so it doesn't feel like a piece of paper that um a piece of parchment that uh would have existed within the world it feels a very a bit plastic that's the only gripe i've got with that to be honest aside from that i love it it's a brilliant replica and i love it but yeah, it's just it's just that one thing. And the last thing I got was this quill pen. Um, I've always wanted quill pens. I pref I mean, really, I would have preferred an actual like feather. I actually do have one with some ink, but I uh, I don't use it because it's so pretty. I don't want to ruin it. This I'm very very happy with. And I couldn't help myself. I had to get it. I just saw it and I fell in love with it. And who doesn't love a nice little feather? Oh, look at that paper. <laughs> okay, but yeah, this little pen right here. And it writes in black. Yay! That black is my preferred ink uh, of choice. Unless it's green. But yeah, we have a nice little black feather here. It feels very, very soft and nice. It's got a little gold leaf and gold going down the stem and you've also got a gold leaf design right up here I can't I don't think you can see it very well I don't think my camera is going to pick it up it's, it's too blurry um, but it does have a nice little flower design right around this little border here which is really really nice 
and I, I don't know what it is about feather pens. I love feather pens. I think I love feathers in general because when I was younger I was obsessed with um, feather earrings but now it's feather pens. Plus I really really like um, just having nice pens. I, I, that might sound a bit weird but it is what it is. I just like pens. I like having fancy pens. It makes me feel special. One of the things that makes me feel fresh here. Feel special. Right. So there we have it. Those, these three were the little add-ons I got right here. So yeah, that's a decent little haul. Um, I am very, very pleased with literally every single item I got. Even the um, Dumbledore's Army um, member list. Even though the paper isn't what I would have chosen, I still really love it. And it's definitely going to be displayed on my shelf with all of my other stuff. Uh, that I've, All of my other Harry Potter related things. Um, I really, really love it. Um, oh! Oh! I've just realised there is also this artwork on the inside. I'm really tempted to cut out the box and just hang up the, all the different pieces of artwork. I really am. I might actually do that. I especially really wanted to hang this one up because it is lovely. I just love that image of Harry entering the Chamber of Secrets. It's with the little snakes on the door, on the wall of the door or whatever. It's gorgeous. I've, I'm going to cut this box up. I know I am. I'll probably say that I'm not going to and then one day I'll just get bored and just be like, screw it. And just hang all the pieces of artwork on my wall. But yeah, so that was this month's uh, Lit Joy Crate. Um, as I, I can't, I'm not sure if I could pick one thing as a favourite. I'm... I am the most indecisive person in the world. Um, it's, I can't, I can't do it. Uh, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not picking a favourite. I can't. There's too many nice things. I, I literally love every single thing for a different reason. So I just, I, I just can't. No. <laughs> I'm trying to think of one that I like more than any of the others and I can't. I just can't. Okay, so that is it for me for today. Um, so yeah, yeah, that was, I'm really, really pleased. I'm definitely gonna be renewing that subscription. Hopefully, um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna be renewing my subscription if it continues at this quality, because the quality of all of these items was amazing. And I really, really, really loved it. Uh, so I'm definitely going to be renewing that one. So you hopefully you'll see a few more uh, Lit Joy, Lit Joy uh, crates for me in the future. Um, sorry, I just completely forgot what I was about to say. <laughs> anyway, uh, that is it for me for today. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy your weekend and I am going to go away and go back to my wine and figure out where I'm going to put all of this stuff. Bye-bye. <laughs>